Have you ever wondered if you could generate an AI portrait of yourself? Maybe you're looking to refresh your LinkedIn profile photo, play a prank on your family and friends, or are you just curious to see how your results will turn out? Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the simple process of creating your own AI portrait. Now I have done two videos in the past showcasing how to do this. This video will incorporate techniques from both videos to give you the best results. Now, before we start generating images, you're gonna need four things. First up, I want you to take several photos of your head in a 360 degree motion using a smartphone. Make sure the wall behind you is white and you're in a well-lit room. Next, let's download all the software you're going to use. Starting with Midjourney and Discord. Midjourney will be used to generate our images and to access the Midjourney server, you need to download Discord. Now to download Discord, we need to go to discord.com. Don't worry, all the links will be in the description below. And we want to just click here and it'll say download for Windows. Now, once you've downloaded Discord, just make sure that you've created an account for yourself. We want to now go to midjourney.com. And on the bottom here, you'll see it says join the beta. We want to click onto this and it's gonna redirect us to our Discord that we already have open. So it's now redirected us to the Mid Journey server on Discord. And you can see on the left here, when you click on General 1 or General 2, people are generating images in the Mid Journey server. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to separate this and create your own Mid Journey bot in your own server. We wanna go down here where it says add a server and you wanna create your own and just click here where it says for me and my friends, call it whatever, uh, and then just create it, okay? So once you've created that, I want you to go over here where it says Mid Journey Bot and click Add App. And this will give you the option to select which server you would like your own Mid Journey Bot to be integrated into. Now I've already got it added to this server, which is content. You can add it to whatever server you created. Now click onto the server that you just created. And on the right here, you should see mid journey bot and what you want to do if there isn't a channel here just click create channel click click text and just name it whatever now to check that you've done it correctly you just want to go over here where it says message and you just want to click forward slash and you'll see that there'll be some mid journey prompts coming up now and you can see the one that we want is imagine and just fyi guys you will not have to do this every single time once this is set up you can essentially just go in and do this so at this point you now have discord you've also created your own separate server and you've integrated your mid journey bot into the server now we just need to integrate one more bot into our server and this is called insight face swap so this is the website guys the link will be in the description below but it's essentially just this link right here. You just click that. And very similar to Mid Journey, it's now asking you which server you would like it to be added to. And you can select the same server that you created. Now, once that's done, to check you've done it all correctly is on the right here, you'll see how many bots have been integrated into the server. And you can see they're both there. So I want you guys to go back down here where it says message. Let's go forward slash and let's click save ID. Now it's gonna ask you to drag and drop or upload an image. I want you guys to click on that. Now I want you to select the first image that you took of yourself head on. I've done a separate one, which is a bit more closer because I really wanted to pick up all of my details. So I'm just gonna select this. Now, if you just go here next to ID name, you can call it whatever, I just call it Danny and press enter. All right, and you'll get this message at the bottom here, which is ID name Danny created. Okay, so the setup process is now complete. For the people that haven't used Discord or Mid Journey or any of these tools in the past, don't get overwhelmed. The next steps are gonna make sense. Once I show you what to do, you're gonna be able to learn as you go. So now let's start with step one, which is to generate prompts for Mid Journey using a GPT that I created for you guys. This is to automate the process for you guys. So all you'll be doing is just copy and pasting. Let me show you what I mean. So here it is, AI portrait generator. We wanna go here and we wanna go to the photos that you took of yourself. I want you to select all of them, okay? So hold control and just select all of them like this and just press open. Now you can see they're being uploaded onto the GPT. Now, before you click enter, I want you guys to paste 
this prompt. This will be the first prompt that you have to paste will be in the description. To summarize the prompt, what it's gonna do, it's gonna analyze all of those images and it's gonna describe the appearance of the person. Okay, so I've pressed enter and what it's done is actually given me one, two, three, three paragraphs describing my appearance. The first time I did this, I was actually intrigued with how AI can describe me. So have a read of what it said about yourself. Now, this is the second prompt that I want you guys to enter. It'll also be in the description below. To summarize this one, what it's doing is it's grabbing the information from the descriptive analysis and it's providing me mid journey prompts. Now, before I press enter, just at the top, I wrote, to give more context, I am a 31 year old Assyrian man. The reason why I did this is just to give more context to the GPT because over here it was saying he could be possibly Middle Eastern, Mediterranean or South Asian descent. Now, if you know your ancestry, put that information in, the prompts will be much better. So let's press enter and see what results we get. Now let's copy the first one, okay? And make sure don't copy this full stop at the end, okay? Just copy all the way to the number nine. And let's go to mid journey. Before we paste it, I want us to go forward slash and I want us to go to settings and press enter. Now I've already got it selected, but if you haven't done so already, I want you to select this one here, which is mid journey model version six. Now, once you've selected it, I want you guys to click forward slash again. I want you guys to click imagine and I want you guys to press, press control V and now we can press enter so that's now generating our first prompt here okay you can see there's zero percent doesn't take too long whilst you're waiting i want you to go back and i want you to select all of the other ones go back here forward slash imagine paste do that for the rest of them i'm going to click this one here and this is where we're going to go to the next step okay so we're going to go with this guy here okay because you could say that's the closest. So we want to go and upscale it. So we press upscale number three, which is one, two, three. Now, what we want to do is we want to click here where it says more. And we want to click apps and you'll see the in swapper that we added before. Let's click that and see what result we get. So now what it's done, it's swapped my face onto the previous image. Now it's not the best result, okay? And this is where it's so important for hair and head shape. Hair or head shape, uh, ethnicity of the person, it's so important to get it because the closer you are, once you do that swap, it will look much better. I'm gonna spend some time now going back and forth with ChatGPT and Mid Journey, and I'm gonna try to get the best results for you guys, okay? So I'll see you guys in a second. Here's the first example. Um, he looks okay. I mean, the face looks definitely very, very good with the head proportion. Look at the uh, fade and beard. It's really good. And you got this guy. He's walking down. You know, I, I mean, this is like, you know, blow the movie. Like, you know, I think I'm some sort of like cocaine empire, like a leader, like in the middle of like the jungle or something on an island. But yeah, I like it. It looks nice. Here's me as a doctor. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's look, I mean, it's kind of funny, the hair, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that's what I would look as a doctor. Um, this is me. Very, very, very nice. So, you know, I'm trying on a suit. Uh, this is actually my uh, favorite one, to be honest. Yeah, I like this one. Here's me uh, running. It's not the best one, but yeah, you can see. And this is a good example to show you guys. See how the head doesn't really go with the face? That's important. So this is stuff that like I've never even thought of before in my life. So something to learn. Here's me. This is actually terrible. I don't know why I thought this one was good. It kind of looks like uh, I'm reading a book, but it uh, kind of looks like there's something wrong with me. Here's the last one. It's uh, me riding a bike. I do ride my bike sometimes, but um, yeah, I know you're probably thinking, hide your kids and hide your wives. Anyway, guys, I would like you all to go give it a try. Let me know what you guys thought of this technique in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys are having any issues. It's important I get you guys feedback as well so that we can make better ones as well. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you all how to make these images come to life and we're going to turn them into a video. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.